This video shows you how to create or modify a virtual SAN storage policy, how to assign a policy to VMs and other objects, and how to check policy compliance. When you create a new VM, a storage policy is assigned to the VM and its virtual disks. Storage policies define the storage capabilities required for your virtual machines. Each policy consists of a set of rules, and each rule defines a storage capability. For example, the number of failures to tolerate rule defines how many physical failures can occur without data loss. The virtual SAN default storage policy provides a basic set of rules that satisfies most typical storage requirements. The default storage policy is assigned to new VMs and virtual disks unless you assign a custom storage policy. To view the default storage policy, select Policies and Profiles in the vSphere Web Client Navigator and then VM Storage Policies. Select the Virtual SAN Default Storage Policy and click Edit VM Storage Policy. You can edit the default storage policy, but it's good practice to keep the default policy as a baseline. You can clone the default storage policy and use it as a template to create a custom policy. Custom storage policies support different storage capabilities or levels of service. For example, in Virtual SAN 6.2 and later, you can define a policy rule that limits the number of input-output operations per second. So you can use one storage policy with limited IOPS for less important VMs, and another storage policy with no limits for mission-critical VMs. You can set a custom policy as the default policy so that it gets assigned to new VMs. Use the Storage Policy Wizard to create a custom storage policy. Select Policies and Profiles, and then VM Storage Policies. Click Create a new VM Storage Policy. On the Rule Set 1 page, select vSAN for the rules based on data services. Add rules to define the capabilities of this policy. For example, you can add a number of failures to tolerate of 1, 2, or 3. The Storage Compatibility page lists data stores that satisfy the rules specified by your policy. If no data store satisfies the policy, go back and modify the policy. Once you create a new storage policy, you can assign the policy to a VM or virtual disk. On the Select Storage page of the new Virtual Machine Wizard, you can select a VM storage policy from the drop-down list. You can right-click an existing VM, choose VM Policies, Edit VM Storage Policies, and select a storage policy for the VM. You can assign one policy to a VM and assign a different policy to the virtual disk. One reason to do this is to set the IOPS limits on the virtual disk. To check the compliance status of a storage policy, select a VM and click Manage Policies. This page lists the compliance status of the storage policies. Compliant means that the data store meets the requirements specified in the storage policy. If the status is not compliant, the data store cannot meet the requirements specified in the storage policy. For example, there might not be enough storage space available. If you modify a storage policy, the virtual disks might be not compliant, while Virtual SAN makes the changes to satisfy the policy. Wait a minute or two and click Check the Compliance before you take any action to fix the issue. If the status is not applicable, the policy rules do not apply to the data store on which the VM resides. If the status is out of date, reassign the storage policy to your VM or virtual disk. You can modify a VM storage policy on the fly, and Virtual SAN immediately reconfigures the virtual machine object to meet those changes. Before you modify a storage policy, check the available resources to make sure they can meet the new policy requirements. Click Home, Policies and Profiles, and select VM Storage Policies. Select Edit Settings. When you modify a policy, Virtual SAN might have to reconfigure objects in the data store, so consider performing this action during a maintenance cycle or period of low activity. For more information about Virtual SAN storage policies, see the vSphere storage documentation on pubs.vmware.com. Thank you.